Good morning. It's July 10th already. Holy crap. Um, it's overcast and a bit breezy today, which is nice. It's a big change. But I came out to show you my zucchinis are doing so good. There's a patty pan down there hiding. Hey, patty. Um, this one's got lots coming. These are bush varieties, so that's why they're so clump, clumped up like that. But this is my Romanesco. Um, there's a nice sized one there. I broke one off accidentally when I was moving this. Note to self, be more careful. Um, and I had it for my breakfast with my eggs and tomato. Oh my God, it was like a beautiful nutty flavored treat. The yellow courgettes are going great guns now. There's loads on here. There's one there, almost ready to harvest. I start the first one off quite small. Sorry, wafting, you know that. You know the wafting trick. I moved my cucumber out here. I don't know if I told you this already. I moved my cucumber out here because it was taking over the greenhouse. Hopefully it'll be okay. It's got lots of little cucumbers on it. These are supposedly patio sized cucumbers, so who knows. Lots on here. Oops, oops, there we go. Oops, I'm showing you the bucket, what an idiot. Anyway. So that's that. It's trailing everywhere and grabbing onto the tree. See? It's uh, doing what it does. Got more beans to harvest. Constant bean harvest. Which is fine. We love beans. What's not to love? Anyway. Blueberries. Oh, I'll show you the blueberries on this one. The size of these blueberries. Almost ready to pick. These are the new bushes. Yeah, look at all those zucchinis. Cool. See what's going on in here. Waft, waft, waft. I came back out here to get my seed tree. Oh, my echinaceas look like they're all finally going to flower. I came out to get my seed trays because I've got some seed sorting to do. Yeah. That's about it today. Oh, just watering on the porch. So what I did was I moved, oops, moved the blueberries up here. These are the miniature blueberry plants. Uh, this one's got loads of blueberries on it, so I have to pick some. Mm, excuse me. Oh, those are good. Mm, I have to share them with Chevy. But what I came out here to show you was flowers are all blooming, which is nice. Um, sunflowers. These are miniatures. I want to save seed from them. I thought they were cucumbers when I planted them. Look how dry everything's getting. I have to come out here and water every day. But what I came out to show you was my strawberries. I butchered them the other day. Like, gave them a super good haircut. They've come back and they are flowering and producing again. So, it's important to keep track of which strawberries you want to keep because these ones I'm not overly impressed with and these are like three year <laughs> these ones are the pink flowered ones and they're called berries galore and they have huge production plus they have come back again with more so I've just picked some more for Gerald so yeah so this one I'm definitely going to keep this little runners from pink flowers these ones <laughs> not so much I'll just give them away. Okay, so what we're going to do today is... Oh, gosh, i got a runny nose. Bloody summer cold. Um, we're going to take some of this and we are going to sieve it in some buckets for some carrots. But I'm not going to bore you watching me sieve dirt. So I'll show you when I'm finished. In about 10 hours. No, it should only take me about an hour. Well, that's the second bucket. I'm almost finished. And if you haven't seen it before, this is Sivzilla. Gerald made it for me last year. Or early this year. Last year, I think. And it sits in here really good. And then I've got a chair, so I'm not hurting my back sieving. Because it's a lot of work sieving by hand. So it comes out of here. Goes in there. And ends up in there for carrots. Anyway, quite cloudy, but no rain. It's about 17 degrees, so perfect gardening weather. 
These are magnolia sausages and you get hundreds of them. They're seed pods. They don't come to fruition here. Um, I just take them off and chuck them. But you get, like I said, you get tons of them. They're just everywhere. Uh, sorry, I'm upside down. There we go. Pill bug. Um, these are, I know everybody's complaining about their tomatoes. These are my red Russian swirl. They're a dwarf tomato. And almost every single one of them is getting flower drop. So I don't know if it was just too hot, too early. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of them outside, see if it does any better outside. And if it does, then I'll put the other one outside. But yeah, not happy at all. They've not got one flipping fruit on them yet. So if I've sent anybody any of these seeds, I do apologize if they're not getting any tomatoes. If you're going to be saving seeds, note to self, throw, even if you're just putting them in containers, throw a label in the container with them so you remember what they are because I will never remember somewhere down the road. Well, calendula, we all know what that looks like. But yeah, I've got bags of seeds and buckets of seeds and whatever. I'm moving my those two tomatoes. I put them outside. I'm pissed off, which is never mind. Um, <laughs> I was going to say a dirty joke then, but that won't do that. Um, so I put them out here on the table. I'll give them a bit of more support and I'll put some more dirt in the pots to um, top it up a bit more. But maybe they just need to be out in the sunshine. I don't know. We can only hope, right? I forgot to mention I treated myself to some new poles. I've bought bamboo ones before, but they don't last. So I bought myself a box of metal and plastic covered ones. Yes, I know they're plastic, but they last for years. Sorry, I'm trying to... How about, how about I just do that and then I'll take them out after. So yeah, I bought myself a box of steaks. Good morning. It's July 11th. It is 18 degrees out at 9.30 in the morning. The carrot boxes... Carrot boxes are getting filled with carrot tape. I might have over sewed them, but I don't worry about it because they're going to be in here all winter. Uh, leave them inside. Um, most important part of using carrot tapes or any tapes, as I've said before, is make sure you water them before you cover them up. And keep them moist because if you don't and the tape dries out, it will, they won't germinate. But I've never had a problem. All those ones that are in the cage are all carrot tape and they're doing fantastic. And I'll try and find a picture of the carrot tape from before that I used and show you how good it's doing. So, yeah, that's what that is. And I saw this the other day. I can't remember what these ones are. I think they're a hot one, but I can't remember. Um, but I'll find out when they are ready. I'll see if they change color. These are the mini bells and the banana. Now, these are sweet banana peppers, not hot banana peppers. And I still don't have anything on my sweet scotch bonnet, but it does start getting flowers, did start getting flowers. And this is bull's horn and it's finally getting flowers as well. So there's still hope and where there's hope, there's food. Anyway, have a great day. Bye. Okay, so they're soaking wet and we're just going to cover them with some cocoa koi because apparently, and I'm not, I'm not promising this is true, but apparently Fungus gnats don't particularly like cocoa koi because it doesn't rot. So we'll give them a nice coat coating and I'll flatten it all out like this. And then they can get put away for the winter. Winter, what's that? <laughs> oh, it'll be winter before we know it. Okay, so that's them done. Like I said, keep it very moist and you should have carrots. Great, two Nance tapes. So those are the carrots. I don't have any cardboard to put over them at the moment. So what I thought I'd do is just put them in plastic bags. Hopefully they won't get too hot. I might have to move them, we'll see. Um, keep them in plastic bags, that'll keep them moist until I can find some cardboard because I don't want them drying out in this heat. So there's some sticks there to stop them from falling in on top of each other. And we will leave them there for a couple of days and see how they do.
yeah all good i'll give you a slight update on the delphiniums you see all the pods are starting to open they're starting to dry and they'll open up and all of those will fall in the bottom of the bag yeah all good these are the columbine they're doing the same thing they'll dry out and start to open and all the little seeds will fall out see what i mean by the seeds these are columbine seeds these are chive seeds they both look exactly the same so it's always important to label what you're doing unless you know specifically and exactly what those seeds are like the calendulas and my black hollyhocks have come out again starting in their full glory and something's pooping on them i just love animals that poop all over my bloody flowers <gasps> i think it's probably snails because i don't think it would be anything else i don't know don't know could be anything as long as it doesn't kill it oh my goodness there's nothing better than picking blueberries right off the porch it's delicious i have to give some to chevy though so just an update on the carrots as you can see keeping the plastic bags on them keeps them quite moist hopefully not too moist but because it's cocoa core on the top i'm hoping it doesn't get moldy but that's only on there for a couple of days until they germinate hopefully and i'm gonna do some propagating of blueberries now i won't show you me cutting the blueberries because i don't have three i'm doing three different ones and i don't have three different jars to put them into water and if i put them all in one jar i'll obviously get them all mixed up so what i will do is cut two at a time and then i will put them all in here and then i'll show you what i'm doing okay so preparation is important so i've got all my pots i'm going to do two small pots of each with three cuttings in each one make sure you label and know that's not how you spell chippewa i was being lazy and i'm going to be using rooting hormone just because i want to give them every chance that they have i have taken all my cuttings and made them small and what you do is or what i do is cut the leaves down you don't need a full leaf just make sure there's no bugs or grubs on them um, the reason you cut them down is you want the leaves for photosynthesis but you don't want the leaves to be trying to grow too much you want the production to be all in the roots so i'll try and do this with one hand um, without spilling all of my expensive rooting hormone okay so i've made six cuttings of the old this is the old bush which is not doing much producing anyway a little bit of rooting hormone rooting hormone pop it in the hole just leave it now you can make angle cuts on them but i don't bother and um, this one might be too tall though yeah it should be okay there we go okay so that's the the old and then i'll put a label in them old okay and then I'll do the same with the rest of them. Okay, so that's all of the blueberries done while I was at it. I've, look at the dirty fingernails. While I was at it, I thought I would do some more lavender. I've got one here already. I did the other day that's not dead yet. Not dead yet, as you know, in my books is good. Not dead is good. So I'm going to leave these all here. I don't propagate things normally. Um, hydrangeas I do because they're super easy I don't I could propagate hydrangeas not even have to think about it they just grow but if you want to watch somebody that propagates everything under the sun you should watch Mike Kincaid I'll put a link to his channel in the description he is in the United States and that man could propagate a dead cow and make steaks he just has a knack for it so if you're really interested like I say in propagating anything and everything check out his channel so anyway, I'm going to cover this up so that it keeps the moisture in, put it in a nice, cool, shady place, probably under one of these shelves, and we will see how they look in a couple of weeks. Try not to poke and prod at them. Uh, just leave them to do as they will. As long as they don't get moldy or too moist, they should be okay. Okay, here they are. Tucked away, safe and sound. Hopefully, we'll leave them there for at least six weeks before we even attempt to look at them they should be fine she says hopefully this is a bag of just pots of soil don't mind the spiders don't mind all the spiders that's just put and see how much moisture there is in there so wrapping them in a plastic bag should hopefully help Whew, it's cooking out here so i'm going back in the house
Oh, cooking out here. I figured while I was out here, I'd pot on some of these lettuces. These are the second batch that have not bolted or been eaten by anything. These are Andy's Queen of the North, I believe they're called Andy. I'll have to look. I apologize if it's not. And Robin's Marvel of Four Seasons, I think. They both say Andy, though, but I know they're not all Andy's. So anyway, they're lettuces, and I'm going to pot them up in here, and then I'm going to put them on that shelf, and then I'm going to cover all of that with a net funicello. So we'll see. I think they're a bit, do you think they're a bit root-bound? <laughs> oh, what a terrible gardener I am. I'm so mean to my plants. Anyway, they came out of the pot easy enough, so hopefully they'll be okay in the pots, the new ones. Okay, well, it might not look pretty, but hopefully it'll distract the uh, cabbage whites from getting on my lettuces. They're all in there, puffed away nicely. And hopefully they'll grow. That's the first time, and I swear to God, it is the first time I've ever gotten lettuces past that stage of, oh shit, they're dead. So hopefully they're okay. Whew, I'm going to the house, it's cooking. Oh my God, something's using my bug house. Look at that, isn't that cool? Holy crap, it's laying an egg in there. That is fantastic. I've never seen anything. I see mud once in a while in the holes, but never actually seen little bees going in and out. Fabulous. Whew. Yeah, yeah, I was supposed to go in the house, then I get distracted by something else that needs doing, like cutting some shoots off and tying up the tomatoes. But I just got to say, I can't believe how gorgeous these marigolds are looking. Like, oh my God, they're just beautiful. What a color. Anyway, there's those ones. And then these ones are the ones that I sowed. These ones are self-sown. Guess what I'll be doing next year? Just chucking my bloody marigold seeds wherever I feel like it. Yeah, they're just beautiful. And it's been so hot and so dry. Knock on this idiot's crazy head. Knock on wood. Um, we've had very little slug issues, especially on this side of the yard where it's super hot. As you can see, the ground is bone dry and I watered for an hour this morning. Anyway, lilies are still kicking ass, so kicking ass and taking names. Yes, ladies. Looking great. Got some bee action going on over here, pollinating things. Thank God. Whew. Anyway, I am going in the house now because it's super hot and I need a drink of water. It's July 13th and it's 18 degrees outside. And it's actually quite a nice morning to be outside. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. And I just thought I'd come out and show you my insanity that I call my bean arch. It apparently, oops, sorry, apparently has gone mental. <laughs> Note to self, don't put so much stuff in here next year. Look at that. Well, it's got loads of flowers, so hopefully they will hang down. Nanu, they will hang down, apparently. So not to panic. Yours probably <laughs> isn't as tangled as mine is, but... That's okay, that's Nanu and, Gr and Grinch at plot nine. Wow, crazy. And then the squashes, these are winter squashes, so I'm hoping that they'll be okay until I pull all the beans out. And they'll just sit here. This is a mystery squash. No idea what it is, because I don't have a label. That's the k -k 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 curry, and that one back there with the great big flowers on it is a sweet mama, which is also a winter squash. The winter squash are the only ones I put in the ground because they can stay here until um, uh, winter. Yeah, <laughs> idiot. Okay, that's it for today. This is the drawback of using straw as a mulch. I think I'm growing. I think I'm growing hay. But <laughs> hey, that's okay. We'll just pull it out. Anyway, yeah. Still the 13th. Still piddling around looking at stuff. Snapdragons are doing lovely. Self-seeded violas are. Oh, they're gorgeous. Look how tiny they are. They're beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, lovely. I harvested some kale. Not kale. Kaleettes. Mm. Because I accidentally broke a stem while I was breaking the bottoms off. So, But that's okay. They're not my big kaleettes. They were the spares. So it's all good. Kaleette crazy 2023.